Right, we're live. Welcome back, guys. Yeah, again, review three with ale degustation. Christoph. Hello, I'm everybody. We'll be taking a look at a batch of here. Yeah, and it's something Grand different. Because it's a, yeah, it's a ginger beer for, for a difference. Yeah, 5.2% ABV a bottle. Um, Hall and Woodhouse brewed 17 something. Um, again, I, I mean, I, I don't know what you think about this, Christoph, but I'm, I'm surprised they've um, remained independent for this long. You know, normally, normally you know, w w with this sort of. And I'm, I'm surprised it hasn't been big boys, but fair play to them for staying independent. You know what? So usually they. Uh they taking date from the first possible uh, mention in history, right? And they brewing probably in uh, close uh, close by, so they claiming that it's it's the same with loads of uh, old breweries. It's it's, uh, it's very common practice. So if you see on on a yeah. beer like 1468, it's not the same brewery. It was a brewery nah. in the same the same place, but you know, but they claiming you know yeah. the continuity. Uh, but this one maybe you know who knows. It's not so. I long. had a quick scout on. Uh, I went I went on the website and I had, a, I had a, just a, a quick scout, um, just bits and pieces of information, nothing too sort of deep. They've. I mean, I don't know if the figure's still the same, but they've got 200 pubs around that sort of region. And surprises me the way that boozers are closing in this country now. They, they seem to be closing on a weekly basis, these traditional sort of pubs. Yeah. It is slightly different now. Um, and the brewery itself was set up purely to, to on the coast. During the, uh, it was the, um, or something like that. It, you know, the, the, the troops were ready to go off to do that. They got the brewery up and running. Soldiers, a few badges before they sailed off. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There's a the crown. Um, have you got any badger reviews on your channel? Yeah, I think there are some uh, reviews. Uh, uh, let me check. Where's the archive? Badger. We got Craig. Ken Beer Reviews is watching. Hello, Craig, mate. I hope you're all right. Right. I have a Daring Diver, Golden Champion, and Poacher's Choice from Badger. Daring Diver. That's the only one that I've reviewed. Uh, uh, maybe when I first started doing it, I think. And but, uh, I can't remember. I can't remember that one. one. <laughs> uh, I've, I've drunk the thirsty ferret way back when I was, I suppose, getting into ales and stuff like that. I can remember always, always buying the uh, the thirsty ferret. Um, a ginger beer. So sounds interesting. Um, let's get it open, yeah. Yep. Nice and gentle, actually. Maltiness and a li little bit of ginger. Sweet. Quite pleasant. Yeah, subtle ginger in that one. Never powering, is it? Yeah, it's, it's quite gentle. Oh, look how, how nice head is on this. And very nice. Uh, very small bubbles. Very nice. So we have a uh, nice, clear, golden beer. It's low, steady carbonation. Definitely in aroma, you, you can uh, smell uh, ginger. 
but it's like sweet sweet ginger it's nice almost uh, a honey whip to it as well with the ginger sort of in oh, the yeah. mix you know what it reminds me um uh, honey biscuits you know it definitely got some sweetness to it Quite sweet, but not too much. Gentle, quite soft, with a little bit of spiciness from, from ginger. So you have uh, lots of nice malts. Then it is a little bit of sugar, honey, uh, and just a tickle of, of, of ginger. It's not overwhelming. It's good. It's nice, refreshing. Now I'm I'm met with a, a, a honey yeah a honey sweetness yeah there's a nice maltiness in there but I'm getting a bit of lightness on the finish on mine plenty of shelf life April, April 18. But I'm picking up a bit of. No, there's no problem. There's no iron in it, uh, so it can be from hops, a little bit. Uh, but no, I think it's just the ginger. Uh, there's almost no bitterness in it. Purely sweet beer. No, I'm not getting. Just, I've just got a bit of a, a, a stunky, slightly metallic edge to it. I, I mean, I've, I've definitely had worse beers with with like the penny piece taste in it. But it's in my head now. I've, but it, intake wise, it's quite nice. You know, not overpowering sweetness. Sweet honey, nice level of gingerness. To it. It's not too much in your face. Yeah, yeah I mean, I don't good. know if you, if you ever tried the, the the Witchwood ginger beard. Yes, yes. <laughs> Any more now? Nice. That, that's a really nice ginger beard. Yeah, but uh, I've tried uh, Krabby's as well, and this wasn't good. Uh, in terms that you could smell ginger but too much it was like a you know, musty rag or, or you know uh, this kind of smell that it could put you off because it was too much i think uh, ginger in aroma yeah, this isn't too much. I mean, it's definitely in there for sure. Yeah, yeah. You you get you it's can more feel like a warming up feeling from from the spice. Yeah, the stem ginger, isn't it? Yeah. And look, it's a nice lacing on the glass. It's always tell you that it's a good quality beer. It's very pleasant and worth to try. You and you buy some toffee. Are you, get, are you getting any toffee, Christoph? A little bit. A little bit in the background, a little bit toffee. And there's a little bit um, fruits and uh, a little bit of licorice in, in aroma as well. It's just that, for me, it's the, the finish that spoils it.
Well, it's not too, I mean, it's not, I'm not going to chuck it away. It's not, it's not that bad. It's there. Like I say, it's, I've, it's in my head now. <laughs> but the, the opening's, the, the opening's cool. Uh, yeah, I think it's just, uh, you know, the ginger itself. It makes this uh, impression. Maybe, maybe. But I, I'm comparing that. Okay, so I'm comparing that to the skunkiness. <laughs> no. The name suggests it isn't a good flavour. <laughs> you know, uh, it's not bad. It's, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, I don't know if you try to be this uh, with um, similar spices. Like, uh, how it's called? I think I think I'd a, a Christmas, which would be a, a Christmas one. I think that was that was brewed with um, cinnamon. I forget what it's called now. Uh, there was Christmas. Right. I had a beer. I think that Easter one as well. It was it was a Polish beer uh, and it was with Madagascar Aframon and it it is a spice from the same family as as a ginger. Okay. Uh, and it was you could feel it a little bit. How it's called in English? Uh, Grains of Paradise. Nice name. Or oh, alligator paper. <laughs> pepper. Uh, so it's nice. It's the same the same uh, family as, as a ginger. Just a how to say no peppery flavor as as, as uh, ginger. Yeah. It was it was a nice beer. African Queen was called. It's it's a very it's a very subtle ginger, but it does linger, doesn't it? Oh yes. Almost transforms into a, a, a peppery sort of bite to it, but very subtle and delicate. It's good beer, especially for those people who like sweet beers. Because it's sweeter than than an average one. There's no bitterness in yeah. it almost. You can you can find some bitterness, but it goes from a little bit of alcohol and ginger. Uh, but it's very low. Definitely better than uh, than crabbies. I think that's just that's just artificial sweetness for me. It's quite it's refreshing, refreshing, isn't it? Yeah, it is refreshing because it's still quite light. Despite this, it's it's quite um, uh, sweet, and it has lots of uh, um, honey flavor in it. Um, I would just imagine that it would ginger would go very nicely with honey beer. Because it would be sweet and sweet and uh, yeah. spicy, would be nice. Uh, and this this kind of beer, I think it would be great, you know, uh, for ladies. I'm not saying that uh, you know women uh, doesn't like you know very bitter beers. No, but for for someone who's like you know just occasionally drinks beer, it would be fine. Mm -hmm. No, I'll get, I'll, get, I'll, get, I'll get where you're coming from with that. Because it's quite sweet, so, and no, not very uh, bitter, so, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm, I'm sort of, in my head, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to compare it to the witch with ginger beard. 
you know what? Because that, I was, was, that, that was a very fine I think, I think I will compare uh, with this one. Okay. Light ginger. So I will try. I never drank this one. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's um, you know Krabi's traditional ginger, which is very you know musty, like the fungus or something smell. Yes, uh, but it's light because it's a light ginger. Very nice head actually for the small bubbles. It looks very similar. I don't know if you see small beer in this one, but looks almost the same. Mm. But it's very, very sweet. Oh, I think it's twice sweeter than 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 the badger one. Oh. It's very sweet, uh, and the ginger, it's more aggressive. It's more peppery, and it's this distinctive uh, aroma, you know, the mustiness in it, uh, going from, from the ginger. Maybe it's a different ginger, I don't know, but uh, I don't like this smell. Beer itself, it's quite nice, despite it is very sweet, and it's more, more spicy. It's almost like a fire in your in your throat, but uh, it's very sweet. I don't know if I will get hold this small. Can. <laughs> How many? And it's only two point eight percent ABV. Oh. So it is um, drinkable, but uh, very sweet. Uh, contains sulfates. And actually, uh, Badger contains sulfates as well. And that, you know what? They doesn't say that they used the um, ginger at all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, it is, it is. No, wait a second. Where's the... Where's the ingredients? Malted barley, sulfates, and nothing else. <laughs> so no ginger. <laughs> oh, it's more of um, it's more of a stem ginger for me. It's not as as fiery as I suppose root ginger. Yeah. More fun, fiery in, in the mouth. Yeah, you know this what? Is I, I, a, a, a very tamed down ginger beer, but it's but it's definitely in there. Yeah, I prefer the, the Blandford Flyer. Oh, definitely. And on Krabbies, they say mm -hmm. uh, uh, alcoholic light ginger beer enjoy the same unique and refreshing flavor of Krabbies with half the ginger or the lighter taste. It is. Less ginger in it, but it's uh, very, very sweet. On this one, the um, Blanford Flyer is, uh, you know, very light, refreshing beer, very drinkable for everyone. Yeah, it's a five point two as well. It's. <laughs> And I've noticed the more the more I'm drinking it as well, the more that flavour is it is going away actually. So maybe maybe you are right. Maybe it is the the, the spices that they use 
combining with the ginger. But it, unless unless my palate is sort of just numbed to it, I don't know. You get that little bit of heat and warmth on the finish, don't you? Which lingers. But uh, um, metallic metallic um, aromas can come from hops if they use a little bit of you know, hops, uh, giving the, this metallic aftertaste. It can be, but of course they they are not saying what they use, so you don't. Know. Would you buy it again? Yes, it's very nice, refreshing. And actually, it would be great uh, on every gathering, you know. Especially if you have someone, uh, like, you know, who likes ginger. It would be all right. Because it is a little bit spicy. You have to be prepared that it is spicy. Hmm. It's not a... Uh... It's not an in-your-face sort of spice, though, is it? It's there, but it's not. It doesn't. It doesn't smack you around the chops or anything. No, 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 like that. it's quite pleasant. It's quite pleasant. Um, I'm just. I'm just looking on their website now just to see if they give any way with hot wise, but it doesn't look like they do. No, they. they they are not saying anything. No. <clears throat> but the whole design of the website is, is very nice. You know, it's the same with uh, very the nice, yeah. labels. Lots of work, you know, put in lots of gold. Very nice. And every beer, uh, it 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 looks um, you know similar. So. Uh, um. Their layout, though. It's very, very classic, I suppose, isn't it? Very traditional. But I think it works for a brewery like this, though. And they're line upon line, and I, to be honest, I didn't really know they had that that many beers. I've heard of um, what thirsty ferry. Oh yeah, is that on there? Name of it. Golden Glory, Leaping Legend, Blank and Flyer, uh, Poachers, and you've got a couple of ciders, Thirsty Ferret, Tanglefoot, of course, everyone knows that one. Uh, First Call, Firkin Fox, Diver, and Wader, which I haven't heard of that one either. No, I didn't as well. Oh. Apple Water. Yeah, a, I didn't realise they had that, that many sort of cold beers. Yeah, and look, the, the, you know, whole series, uh, series it looks, you know, very nice because it, it's in mm. the same the, the kind of design. It's not like every, every label is different. Yeah, I think it's just it's just it's just nice sort of base now and then as well. You're either going to be pleasantly surprised or you're going to be deeply disappointed. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not surprised by it and I'm not disappointed by it. I'm just, I think it just, just makes a change now and again. Yeah, definitely something different. What would you give it, what would you give it score wise? Ah. As for a ginger beer, quite high, eight, nine maybe for ginger beer. Uh, as for beer itself, I don't know, seven. Seven out of ten? Yeah. Yeah, I'll give it seven out of ten. But actually, for ginger beer, it's very, very nice.
I think the thing that sells it for me, as like you pointed out, the ginger's in there, but it's it doesn't take over the beer. It's very subtle. Yeah, it it is a nice addition to beer, and it's not overwhelming it. So you can still enjoy the beer with a little bit of spices, and it's nice. Yeah, it, it hasn't completely lost its character. Either. There is there is a, a a remnants of an ale taste behind that ginger, isn't there? Yeah, sweet maltiness to it. So still you can enjoy it. Uh, definitely we can uh, recommend this beer for everyone. Like, even with crap beers that I review, I always say give it a try because you might like it. You know, at the end of the day, it's, it's just a, yeah, it's an this, opinion at the end of the day. It's uh, not set in stone. Uh, I always say that it is an individual taste. If you like it, you yeah. like it. If not, you don't. It's your choice, you know. I mean, if, you, if you'd asked me a year ago, do I like Belgian beers? I probably would have said. But I'm slowly getting into Belgian beers now, and, I, and I'm enjoying them. I think you've, you've just got to try them a bit more just to just to get into it, haven't you? Oh, yes, definitely. Because first I thought they are quite... Blunt. No. Because you have mostly uh, maltiness there and nothing else and lots of alcohol. Uh, and you have to find those, you know, gentle additional uh, flavors to enjoy it properly. Uh, but it is, it comes with a knowledge about the style what it should be there and what shouldn't be there now you have to learn unfortunately you have to learn you have to try a few beers and compare them mm. but, but that in itself is is a nice experience isn't it because you know it, it, you're branching out you're experimenting with different beers yeah You know, if you if you have if you would would describe flavors in this beer for someone who just never had uh, something like this, would say, are you, are you crazy? Wet horse? I don't know. Stable? Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's awful. Farm, farm it's awful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that that. But it's That's there. It, 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 it's yeah. it's uh, you know fun to to find those those uh, flavors. In, in any other beer, it would it would be fault, but there it's on on, on the place. <laughs> that's the that's why that's what I like about doing this though. You, every now and again, you you encounter. A really, really fantastic beer that blows your mind almost. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it bamboozles you. So, it's a nice beer, definitely, gentle, uh, and it's worth to try. So, if you see this beer on the shelf, try it. Maybe you will like it. Why not? Yeah, definitely worth a try. Maybe um, in the summer months as well, when it's really hot. Cooling it down. I don't know. I, I, 
I feel uh, quite uh, warm out, uh, warm up now, so I don't know if it's uh, really good or a very hot summer. I don't know. Have you still got that crabbies one as well? Oh, I finished it. It was only only two hundred fifty mils, so you know. I push it. Red Bull can size, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've just oh, finished my drink. Yeah, so um, all in all, 7 out of 10 for the Badger Beer, Blanford Flyer. Worth checking out. Uh, pretty easy to get hold of in the supermarkets. Normally on one of these yeah, sort of... Everywhere. Four, four for six pound offers or four for a five offer. Yeah, give it a try. You might like it, you might not. Final impressions, Christoph, on it? Uh, very refreshing, light, uh, not too sweet, uh, quite pleasant beer. Ginger on, on a very low level, pleasant. Uh, so, really, it's worth to try. Why not? Yes. And we, we said this is review number three for myself and, and Christoph. Um, any questions? Uh, leave a comment down below. Um, maybe give us a recommendation for a, for a beer that you'd like us to try. Always up for something like that. Um, yeah. That'll do, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Don't okay, mate. I'll um. Yeah, I'll see you on the next one. See ya. See you, bud.